Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and um, today I'm going to be doing something that has actually been requested um, you may have or you may not have seen that I've done a video doing all the swatches of this palette um, which is the berry palette by um, PS which is Primark which is this one here now if you would have seen that video you would have noticed that I, I said it was all right um, but I didn't know whether you wanted me to do a look or try it out because when I done the swatches I weren't I was impressed but I weren't that impressed because obviously you've got the iconic stuff from Makeup Revolution so I said right okay if you want me to then I will do a look and I will test it out and see how it go so today I've decided that that is what I'm gonna do now the only thing that I will say about this is there is no base shade in there there's no shade in there to actually do do um like a full full base i have got on at the moment um the 24 hour tattoo from maybelline so i'm just waiting for that to dry at the moment um and obviously i will then start applying um but i, I thought what i can do because i don't really like dipping out of a palette because I think you should get a full look from a palette. If I'm totally honest, I think you should be able to get a full look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my lace powder, which is what I set my face with, and I'm going to use that instead. Because then, Okay, so I've got my lace powder, so I'll just tip a little tiny amount on there. And I'll just set my eyes. You have to forgive me. Sophia, keep quiet, darling. <laughs> Tiny bit more so I can set the other side. Sophia, can you shut the door, please? Just pull the door shut. Okay, so I've used the lace powder just to set my eyes so that I've got a base colour. Okay, that's better. Now, so what I'm going to do is, as a transition shade, I'm going to be using this colour here. So, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's quite powdery. That's the only thing I will say is it's quite powdery. But very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. Um this isn't my favourite brush in the world to use, if I am honest. This is my Real Techniques brush, not my favourite brush in the world. This one, however, is, and that's the Brush Crush one. So you can see that I've made quite a bit of a mess while dipping that in. Let's knock some of that off. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot. That is way more pigmented than what I was expecting that to be. I mean, that's the palest colour that I can use as transition in the whole palette. What's this blank? So there we go, that's blended out. So I can now lay my other colours on top and they should blend seamlessly together. So I've got, I, I really like that look, that's really pretty. But that is the only downside, is that you do get so much fallout. You really do. So I'm just going to darken up the outer corner here with this colour here. So I really don't want to use too much on there on my brush because it is just so pigmented and oh, 
Can you see that? Whoa. It goes to show, doesn't it? Just because when you try and do swatches with something, and I was like, mm, I'm not 100% sure on this. I was a little bit out of like, the jury's out, they don't look like they're fantastic. I'll tell you what, how wrong, how wrong was I? Okay, so let me just blend all that together. Very pretty, very, very pretty purple colour. Um, and then I'm going to use this darker colour here. I'm not going to use this one. I'm just going to use this darker colour just to do, just literally to do the out, outer corner. Now I've got a tiny amount on my brush. I'm going to need a little bit more. That is beautiful. I'll tell you what this does remind me of. Actually, this reminds me of Flawless 4 by Makeup Revolution. Um, just the shade range. <laughs> you can hear my little chatterbox in the background. that I'm really impressed with I'm really impressed with so I'm now just going to lay down on the outer corner the darker colour um, of the palette I just literally just want a little bit um, and that's this one here and I mean literally just a tiny amount just to darken that up shade stunning that shade is stunning god I used only a tiny amount and I mean only a tiny amount Whoa, 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 whoa. Let us blend. This eye never ends up quite the same. <laughs> I 
always look like this eye is wide open and this one is a bit squinty. You just use a bit of concealer to, to clean this bit up because that has gone way over. Actually, don't need to. That's fine. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. I'm not going anywhere today, so it doesn't necessarily matter. I'm going to use this colour here. see how we get on. Whoa. Whoa. I was not expecting that. My goodness. That is, whoa. Let me just kind of bring you in close so you can have a look. That is incredible. I was not expecting that at all. Well, that's one my heart over. That's just like, whoa. And I'll show you that it is this palette I'm using. Okay, let's do this side. I, I'm slightly blown away. No, I'll correct that. I'm totally blown away. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. That is, I mean, this colour here, I mean, when I swatched this, it was okay. As you can see, it's, it's okay, but nothing necessarily amazing. But on the eye... <laughs> That's really good, really good. Okay, so let's do the inner corner, shall we? Um, no, that's, a, that's the wrong brush again. There we go. So I think on the inner corner, I'm going to use this one here, which is a duochrome. Um, and I said that I thought this was a bit chalky, so we'll have a look and see. And that is a bit powdery. But look at that. That is, um, it's definitely a duochrome. It's definitely very, very pretty. I like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to use the white colour here. I'm just going to use that on the very, very arch of my brow, just here. Whoa. I 
I don't put a lot because I just think you don't really need a right lot. Just enough to reflect the light a little bit. That is, I'm really chuffed with that. I'm really chuffed. I use that expression a lot, don't I? I'm really chuffed with that. So, I'm going to use a lighter colour here just to do in between. So, literally just here. Just to marry that up. And then I'm going to use another small brush and I'm going to go underneath. Where is ya? Where is ya? I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to use this colour here again. Very, very small amount because it is just so pigmented as I'm true. Just to go under my eyes and that isn't working. Let's see if that's going to work. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I, I'm i actually a bit blown away, I don't know what to say, I'm, that is just beautiful, I don't think you can even pick up on camera how gorgeous it really is, I'm going to come up close, I don't know if you can actually see how gorgeous that is, I'm just going to blend that out a bit more because I'm not happy with that blending if I'm honest. I know I'm not going out anywhere, but I do like to have my shadow blended properly. I don't want any harsh lines. See, the thing is, in natural light, it actually looks really good, but in the camera, you can actually see, you can see the lines. Oh well, never mind. Okay. So, I thought, as I'm trying that, I'm going to use this as well as my highlight. Um, so, those are the colours there. And I think I'm going to go with this here, because I think it's more akin to what I am wearing. And I'm going to use this highlight brush. I can't even remember. I think I got this off eBay. I can't even remember. But it's just... Use a fan as well. See how we get on with the fan. Yeah, let's definitely pick up. It's because I'm not doing it like it's difficult to do. And this. I mean, you can say this is the lit side, so this is the side where the light is coming in and hitting, whereas this is like the bad side, so there's no light actually hitting this, so it's not it's not lit at all. I said that in one of my videos before, and I went, this is my lit side, and I had a message saying, do you think your side's lit? It's like, no, I meant lit as in <laughs> the lighting. Not lit as in what everybody terms as being lit these days. That's quite nice, that's quite, um, that is quite nice, but I just, I don't feel like I'm giving that any, it's not getting the justice it really deserves, because I know how beautiful, I know how beautiful these are. Okay, I've grabbed my proper highlight brush now from Real Techniques, so, 
Let's see. <laughs> Whoa. And then I'm going to run the white just down my nose and across my forehead. And that is really pretty, isn't it? That's really pretty. Yeah, so I'm really chuffed with that. Alright, I need to go and put the rest of my face on, but yeah, I'll go and do that and I'll be straight back. Okay, so my final thoughts on that palette. I'll tell you what, my first impressions of it when I done the swatches were not great. Um, they were alright. They weren't like, oh, I'm really blown away by this. But I can honestly say that I really, really do like this palette. I think this palette is, I think it's amazing. Look at the shimmers, just, and they do feel so very soft and buttery. Um, and they apply really well. And I think the reason they are so powdery is because they are so pigmented. So, do I recommend this? Oh, heck yes, I do recommend it. For four quid, I think it's even worth more than that, personally. I think I'd be quite happy to pay £8 for that palette because it is just that good. It really is that good. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me with um, this first impression test and try on. Um, I will update in the comments, obviously, underneath um, if there's been any issues with wearing. Um, because I know sometimes you can put eyeshadow on and it looks absolutely great and then an hour or so later it starts dropping and, and it's like disappeared. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm doing my test and makeup, um, my foundation for Makeup Revolution as well today. So you will be able to see at the end of that whether it's all stayed in place because it will all be linked to that. But yeah, I'm... Um, I'm impressed, very, very impressed with this palette. I absolutely adore it. So, again, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget the giveaway. The giveaway um, is going to be ended on the 31st of March. Um, I will put a link into it like I normally do. And, um, yeah, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.